Now this is what I want to ask you guys. What do you think are the qualities that you need to be successful? Give me some qualities. Um, to, to be successful. If you want to be successful in life, what do you what do you, what are some qualities that you need to have? Respectful. respectful. I like that. So you gotta be respectful. What else do you have to need if you want to be successful? Responsible. Responsible. Who said that? Responsible. I like that one. I'll put a highlight next to that. Honesty. Yes. Who else? Who else got a word? Who else got a word? Let me, uh, let's see, you gotta be knowledgeable. Let's say knowledgeable. All right? You gotta be, let's be knowledgeable. That's a good word. Okay? All right. These are three qualities that you have to have if you wanna be successful in life that you guys thought. But to be honest with you, I think there's four main ones that you need, and I'm gonna go over them with you guys now. The first one, you said responsibility, right? Responsibility, guys. Uh, a lot of times, uh, you know, you, you, when your mom says take out the trash or wash the dishes and everything, we forget sometimes. Yeah. We forget sometimes, right? It's human nature to forget. But let's try to be at all times. Let's try to be responsible. Make sure our homework is done. That's the key to being successful. Uh, successful. Uh, who said honesty? Me. Said honesty. He's on the money. You have to be have integrity. So we got responsibility and we have integrity. And excuse my spelling. Not used to writing like this. <laughs> it's kind of different. So we have responsibility, uh, responsibility and integrity. Integrity, honesty, being upfront with yourself, being real with yourself, being real with your parents. That's what, that's, that's another key to being successful. Um, a lot of times, uh, you know, we get into situations where, you know, you have to make the best of what you have. And that's where the and integrity comes into play. Mom says, hey, did you finish your homework? You can't go out and play until you finish your homework. What do you think you should do? Finish your homework. Finish your homework. And that's the key, that's the way that y'all become successful. Next, I have commitment. How many of you guys are committed to what you do? Who has a, a passion that's committed to their passion? Uh, what are some of the passions that you guys have in here? What do you like to do? Aviation. Like aviation, so you like flying planes. I like that. What else? What's your passion? Acting. Acting. Now my school, Pace University, we have an active studio. So if you are interested, start looking into it now. Pace University, they put everybody on the Broadway, you know? So plan, you know what I mean? Make sure that you have a plan. What's your passion? Modeling. Modeling, you like modeling. Taking pictures? Beauty. Like being a beautician. Want to be a beautician? That's good. But what do you have to do? In order to do those things, you have to be committed. You have to find your passion. Once you find your passion, you have to go at it all with all speed. Press on the gas. That's what we do. We press on the gas when you find your passion. And don't let off the gas, no matter what anybody tells you. Because people want to say, hey, you're not smart enough to do that. You know they're not going to say, hey, you're not strong enough to do that. Oh, only guys can do that. Only girls can do that. But you know, be human. You can do anything. Anything that you know you put your mind to is possible. The last uh, letter that I have it starts with an E. Who give me an E, an e letter that they think is the next le uh, next word that I'm going go with? Encouraging. Nah, not encouraging. This is when you're good at everything. Excellent. Excellence. Excellent. Excellence. The next word that I wanted to give you guys is excellent. And I know y'all been sitting there saying, why does it say right so let's put the board right there? That's why, because with responsibility, integrity, commitment, and excellence, you become successful. Excellence is being good at everything, taking pride in everything you do. Your homework, you're doing your homework, make sure you do it right. Make sure the paper's not dirty. Make sure it's not all greasy. You're not handing it to the teacher with, you know, with last night's dinner on it, you know? Make sure you take, and make sure, that happens sometimes. You know, you sit there eating chicken wings and a rice bowl and a homework, and then leave that little grease mark. But you gotta, you gotta understand, take pride in everything you do. Be excellent, you know? Take, take pride. You know, you, you guys are smart, you guys are young, you have time to develop and make decisions that you wanna do. Uh, you know, definitely take the time to be excellent. Um, with that, that completes our successful. Uh, and I'll go into um, more detail about what I do. Uh, I went to Pace University. I uh, actually went to Jamaica High School uh, first, played four years of football there. Uh, it was a wonderful 
couple times. Uh, I got injured my senior year. Fractured four ribs. And because I fractured four ribs, I lost pretty much all my scholarships, D1, that uh, you know I could have possibly really got. Uh, with that, I was stuck with no school. So I had no school to go to. Been playing for four years of high school. It's my senior year, and all the colleges backed out on me. All the guys, you know, all the people that were telling me, hey, we want you, we want you, we want you, now they don't want me anymore. Are they calling me that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, what wound up happening was, uh, I wound up going to Pace University where I majored in communications. So who likes radio, television, and film? Click. Radio, yeah. television, and film, that's communications. That's what we no, call that's it. That's, true, the, uh, that's the broadened uh, way of, of, of putting it. Okay. Um, and I liked it there. Went and played four years of football at uh, Pace University. Thought I wanted to go and play professional football after that. And guess what I did, guys? Guess what I did? Quit? I didn't quit. What did I do? No, I didn't make it at all. I didn't even try out, actually. What? Nah, I didn't hurt myself. I almost did. What happened? Got interested in music. Got interested in music. And that's what I wanted to you know, also talk to you guys about having a backup plan. I thought for, for me, I thought football was going to do it for me for a long time. I just knew that I was going to go to the NFL and be, you know, uh, the next Reggie Bush out there running up the sidelines. But you know, sometimes you see change, you know, and when you get the change, don't be afraid to do it. The biggest risk in life is not taking any risk at all. You know, you take any, you don't take any risk. You know, how are you gonna, you know, become a better person? Um, Nathaniel told me something interesting about yeah. the sixth grade, though. Oh, yeah, my sixth grade class was 601. You guys are sixth class 601, right? Yeah. When I was in sixth grade, my class was 601. That's crazy, right? <laughs> I went there, I was reading up all, on the papers on the back wall. I was like, wow, 601. But um, this is our website. Um, because I did beautiful football, I went on to do music. Um, I've been doing music since I was young. Uh, but just because I was doing the football, you know, you can't do both. It's both, they're both time consuming. Uh, so after the season, I was able to start uh, putting more time and energy into the music. Uh, we just started our own uh, website, awmusicgroup.com, um, and we're going to be doing uh, a lot of mixtapes during this summer. Uh, we have singers, uh, R&B artists, we have everything. Um, anybody have any questions about questions for me as far as about music, anything? You can just throw them at. at. <laughs> any questions? It don't even matter. <laughs> Yeah, we have all kinds of music. Uh, we do R and B, we do hip hop, uh, we do gospel, we do reggae. Um, we're actually on the plans of doing our own studio, uh, making our um, own studio in Queens, um, and have all genres of music so people could come and record. So, what type of famous artists? Famous artists? No, we don't have any famous artists uh, um, as of yet. Uh, right now, the artists that we do have, uh, we're working uh, with them. Uh, to get the music up and to get their music out there. Um, essentially, maybe about two to three years from now, we're gonna be the premier uh, music outlet for Queens, New York. And that's our goal, uh, to have uh, Queens artists um, and eventually New York City artists, uh, once we get that big, uh, to come and be part of our label. Yes? We have been performer. We have a performer. Yeah. Yeah. Shamira, who sings, wants to sign up with you. What's the, what, what happens? Okay. She comes to your company and she says, here, I'm a singer, here, I have my CD, you listen to it, you say, yeah, you're great. Mm -hmm. What do you do for her? Shamira has oh. already won round one at the Apollo Theater. I know, my, my mom is Miss Kingsbury, oh, so I'm, I'm oh, going, yeah, I'm, I'm probably trying to make it on the 